tonight we shall be looking at five of the worst criminals caught on the dark and deep web. Before we begin, let me know your opinions of the deep and dark web down below. Now for those of you that don't know, 90% of the internet is made up by the deep web. But there is a lot of confusion between the deep web and the dark web. Dark web, as suggested by its name, is a place where some heinous crimes take place and the distribution of drugs and firearms among other illegal activities. However, the dark web only contributes to 0.3% of the internet compared to 90% being covered by the deep web. And contrary to common belief, the deep web is relatively safe. However, tonight we are here to discuss the 0.3% and some of the worst criminals to be caught there so far. Number 1. Peter Scully The infamous Australian pedophile potentially faces the death penalty in the Philippines. He faces a litany of charges, but the world knows him for the sickening film known as The Destruction of Daisy. The details of his crimes are simply too grotesque for public discussion. Scully has been charged with masterminding a worldwide criminal network, as well as producing and selling videos that show child sex abuse and torture. He faces a total of 75 charges. Unless the death penalty is reintroduced, Scully may face the maximum sentence of life imprisonment and a total of 100 years in jail. Number 2 Marcel Hesse Marcel Hesse, 19, stabbed his neighbour's 9-year-old son more than 50 times. Shortly after, he stabbed his 22-year-old friend over 60 times and set his apartment on fire. The German teen bragged about the child's murder online and uploaded a harrowing footage and pictures to the dark web. He voluntarily surrendered to the police after a nationwide manhunt. Earlier this year, he was sentenced to life in prison, which will be served in a psychiatric ward. Number 3 Ross Ulbrich Ulbrich had a bright future. He was a graduate at Penn State with a master's degree in material science. He wanted to become an entrepreneur a desire that eventually pushed him to create a drug dealing empire on the dark web. Known as the Silk Road, the infamous drug trafficking enterprise earned Ulbricht a fortune of 28.5 million. However, careful use of Tor wasn't enough to keep him off law enforcement's radar. He was picked up in San Francisco and charged with money laundering, computer hacking, conspiracy to traffic narcotics and conspiracy to traffic fraudulent identity documents. He is now serving a life sentence for his efforts, which was upheld in 2017. Number 4 Shannon Grant McCool In 2014, Australian police infiltrated a dark web gang that eventually led to care worker McCool as well as abusing at least seven children in his care while employed for South Australia's Department for Child Protection, McCool was the head administrator of a global child pornography website. In 2015, he was sentenced to 35 years in jail. He recently requested a reduction in his sentence after cooperating with authorities to prosecute a European user of the website. Prosecutor Ian Press argued that McCool has not shown any sign of remorse for his actions and is only willing to cooperate on his terms. Number 5 Hei Min Nugo Compared to some of the list, Nugo really isn't the worst. In 2015, he was charged with hacking into United States businesses, computers and selling personal information to cyber criminals but the sheer scale of his crimes earned him a spot on this list. He gained access to more than 200 million identities and had them all for sale. He made 1.9 million from his licit activities. He posed as a private investigator to buy details that he then sold on the open market. 
the go could have gotten away with it, but he made a rookie mistake when an undercover secret service agent lured him to Guam for a business deal. In 2013, he touched down on US soil and he was promptly arrested. Two years later, he was sentenced to 13 years in a federal prison. All these stories show you don't always know who you're dealing with and what they're capable of doing, especially when you're interacting with people online. That's why people use Truthfinder suite of search tools to stay safe online and in person. A simple search can undercover shocking information like detailed criminal records, a questionable location history, and even previously hidden aliases. Are you getting fished? Is someone trying to steal your identity? Thank you all for listening. Have you ever ventured onto the dark or deep web? If so, was there anything disturbing you found? Perhaps if this video does well, I'll start a series of me exploring the deep and dark web. But until then, I hope you all have a pleasant evening. Stay safe.